had the slightly better wave formations on the way back. Now then we look to the next race. Exciting stuff here. Giovanni Ficra for Italy alongside Alexis Fortier for France. Oh yeah, definitely the hometown favorite. We got Gio here winning in, uh, in Portugal. Yeah, Ficaro, the world champion from 2021. That's right. So when we look back at the winners, we've got all three of them exactly. in this. We've got Miriam and Kuroga from 2019, Fikara from 2021, and Chris from 2022. This will be quite the race when the bracket starts to tighten up. Yeah. Boat's getting ready to go in the water. Alexis Fortier, no slouch either. We've seen him. The Europeans. Uh, the Europeans, exactly. He's quite strong in this event as well. Nice start by Gio here. Look at him go. He's a sprinter, isn't he? Absolutely rapid. Fortier, the fourth place finisher in the mixed Cox quad from last year. So just missed out on a medal. Now he's trying his chances in the solo, but goodness me, he's going to have his work cut out. What a start for Fikara. Yeah. Almost losing an oar there. Yeah, that was a challenging set of waves he's had to batter through. And that's meant that Fortier is back in contention. Oh, yeah. He's gained overlap again oh, wow. now, coming to past the first turning point. France, I'm going to have to... France right now is cooking. I mean, That I, was quick, right? Yeah. He's just flying through these waves, cutting right through. He might, he might give Gio a run for his money right here. I think he's going to. Fika is looking across thinking, oh, what wow. is going on? Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to give I'm going to give the advantage to France right here. Yeah, oh. this is... He's, he's, ooh. And there it is. A couple of wobbles for Fortier. Now, um, when it comes to this turning point, um, Corey, how, how do you like to handle that? Are you going for the aggressive stop? What do you do in the double with Christine? Do you turn your blade over and jam it in, or are you going for a slightly wider sweeping turn? Uh, I mean, the weather is always, and the water conditions are always changing, but you know that's exactly what I have to practice for so long. I mean, that was a great turn right here. I think two strokes around for France, and he's in and the lead. he's on a wave there, yeah. isn't he? But yeah, I mean, it's always constantly changing. We, we have to play, and I mean, be ready for any circumstance. But right now, I'm going to give the edge to France, and he's, he seems to be pushing away slightly. Unbelievable, isn't it? Considering um, considering his slower start, I mean, Figaro was running away with it through the first 50 meters on the water. Right now, he's just, mm, I don't know, he's, he's fighting that wave. He yep. is, yeah. It, he was just caught on the wrong side of the crest, wasn't he? Yeah. Italy trying to capitalize on that. Yep, he's just right on the back of it. Oh, that's why I love watching these beach sprints. It's just amazing how they've got to handle the waves and it can just be race ending if you don't quite get on the correct side of one. This is going to come down to this beach sprint now, isn't it? Yes, it's looking like it's going to tighten up. France here picking up the speed. We'll see who has a little bit more gas in the tank. Yeah, let's check out this exit. Fikra, oh, no problem. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Textbook exit. And we saw how fast he was coming down the beach in front of the home fans here in Italy. I do. You've got to feel a little bit for Fortier, though, because he put in such a great on-water segment. Yeah, he did. If he rode that wave a little bit differently, I mean, maybe it would have turned out just a little in his favor. That's it, isn't it? It's if, if he had a couple of big strokes, maybe he could have gotten ahead of it. Exactly. And ridden it in rather than be bogged down behind it. But the shoulda, coulda, wouulda's. Exactly, exactly. Um, like wonderful racing by both of them. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think the form book says that Fikara was going to get through. So that means that we already know that Miramon Kiroga is through from the first race, the world champion from 2019. Chris Bax through from the second race, the world champion from last year. Fikara is through from the third race, the world champion from 2021. Um, who have we got lined up next? I almost don't want to look because <laughs> the caliber is so hot, so strong in this in this form for the men's solo. Look at this recap though. Rapid start for Fikra. Let's see how they get off. I mean, it was a quick start on the water, but he just got utterly bogged down where Fortier didn't get held back whatsoever that allowed him to draw up level alongside 
Benfica. You could see the confusion on his face, yeah. couldn't you? He was looking across thinking, what's happened here? How is he back alongside me? Um, is a solo ever in your future, do you think, Corey, or are you a crew, a crew uh, boater? I don't know. I mean, Chris is definitely definitely the one to be in the U.S., I mean, if not the world, um, trying out.